going to do is show you how to make finish a finish look old. <clears throat> uh, I thought we would paint one. Uh, I'm just going to use an enamel spray paint. I'll do a light stain on one so you can kind of we can see the real contrast of what we're going to do. And then, uh, you know, kind of a basic cherry one that we'll do all the time. All right. <clears throat> so really the simplest and easiest way to do this is just to get uh, a stain that's uh, nice and dark. And we could do we could use uh, the same one we used on this piece to do this. But I prefer uh, something uh, brownish or dark like that. And we're just going to go over what we've done. <clears throat> Just take a something here, and I'm just going to wipe this on, cover it, okay, and then <clears throat> I'm going to wipe it off. Wax on, wax off. Now obviously you can leave it a little longer, but I don't think this this is gonna particularly sink in since you've already got the one stain on there. But what it does do is highlight the marks that you made versus this. Gives it that little bit more of a rustic look. Let's try that <coughs> with this piece. Same same stuff, just something brown, and uh, it's got a lot of good scratches. Yeah. Get it down in them holes, make sure. Squeeze that in there, and if you or used to don't like getting your hands dirty, uh, wear gloves, or uh, some fast orange or something like that it gets this stuff off really well if you do it right after. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so there we go, wiping that off. And you can see here, very simple and an easy way to to really highlight some of that that you've made uh, a mess with and um, pretty good now we're not done there in addition to those two we can do this same method right on top of our painted wood or Fill some of them holes up. They also make um, <clears throat> a glaze that you can buy in a can, and you mix it up with your with a, a paint. It does essentially the same thing, but. This right here works for me. All right, now wipe that off. And you can see there, makes it look old. Okay, so another way that uh, I've used before, it's a little, quite a bit different. Get some uh, flat black of any kind. I always keep a little flat spray paint around because it's really good to paint um, the backs of furniture or underneath stuff that you know you don't want that bright wood to shine. But um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to just spray just a little bit on the part of this that I did not. Um, I stained that dark stain on this side. I'm gonna just kind of hit this on this side with this flat black paint and you'll see that I do it kind of really really light 
you just want to let the let it just kind of land in little dots and what we can do now that we've done that we're going to let that dry a little bit and then we'll take a piece of um, steel wool this is uh, four aught and we'll rub that out a little bit with the steel wool so once this dries we'll come back and do that you you can do this to um, any kind of the, the painted surface that we had we could do this on here what the heck let's try it see what it looks like here after it dries and you can go as much as you want or as little as you want and uh, honestly you know I never really tried it on uh, such a light wood so we'll do this one together and just see what it looks like once it dries normally I've done it on the darkers my guess is we probably want to stay a little lighter then. all right okay <clears throat> so we've given this a few minutes to dry let's uh <clears throat> let's see what happens we're just going to take our this is like i said quadruple aught steel wool and i'm just going to kind of buff this out a little you can do as little or as much as possible <clears throat> but what this does essentially is kind of gets rid of a <clears throat> the top layer a little of that black and lets it bleed through it's the same thing as if you were <clears throat> if you painted uh, say you painted uh, something red underneath and put black on top and then you sanded through the black to show a little of the red you're kind of doing the same thing <clears throat> You're just not doing it in such a dramatic a fashion. <clears throat> now, if I keep going, you can see here how that does a pretty nice job, actually. <clears throat> now, it's a different effect. Instead of just highlighting this, we've also toned the wood a little bit. So it gives it a really neat <clears throat> old look. <clears throat> I've used this on painted surfaces a good bit. It's kind of cool, too. <clears throat> Same deal, we're just gonna double off steel wool. And I'm just gonna rub it around, gives a neat effect. <clears throat> this is cool too, it started to take just a little of that paint out. That's kind of cool, that gives you the highlighted as well. <clears throat> As you can see, you can get your ridges and stuff. <clears throat> so that is using the paint, spray paint. We've got a little bit of overflow here. <clears throat> and notice how it really takes on a different, different feel, different look. Okay, keep that in mind. We're going to show you yet even another one. <clears throat> Let's do this here. This is the the lighter stain. Steel wool is good for a lot of stuff when you're doing some finishing, I tell you. <clears throat> Get you a bag of double off and uh, mess around with it. You'll be surprised at how nice it. If you're not using it in your practice already, you'll be surprised how much you enjoy using it on things. And don't be afraid to <clears throat> to try it. Okay. Not so sure that. The dark paint on the light stain is my favorite, but it does really make it look aged, so I guess pretty good. You might try this actually with maybe a flat brown, um, and that might lessen the contrast and, and really make it look pretty cool. But uh, <clears throat> so, so, uh, so that's trick number two. If you remember me telling you, the stains that I've used today here are oil-based and the paints that we've used are enamels and mineral spirits on this will just wipe everything off that we've done and it will look horrible. So there's some preparation you have to do. 
In order to prevent that from happening, we're gonna have to we're gonna coat these with shellac. Okay, so <clears throat> my secret recipe is basically just tar and mineral spirits, about 50-50. You can get tar in the, I guess, the roofing or driveway department of Home Depot or Lowe's, any of those big box stores, and just throw some tar in a jar <laughs> and uh, add some mineral spirits and just let it soak, you know. Um, I've had this for quite some time. Basically, you can keep adding mineral spirits to it for a while. The tar goes a really long way. And you're going to see now how cool this looks on these pieces. Now, we have sprayed these with shellac. Half of this was done uh, by using stain. The other half was done by using a little spray paint and uh, using the um, steel wool. Same deal with all of these. So now what we're going to do is add the layer of this secret recipe on top of this shellac. Tar is sticky, and you can see it's kind of a nasty looking mess, but this is good, good stuff, man. Good, good stuff. Just take some of this, and just you want to just rub this all over. This is going to give you some cool patina. Okay. Just gonna let that soak for a second. While that does that, I'm gonna stick it on this. I'll just do half of this so we can see before and after. Same deal here. All right, this is tar, baby. Now remember, we had to seal this with the shellac. <clears throat> Or the mineral spirits in this stuff will just take what your take your stains and whatnot right off of there. All right, let it soak all you want. You can add some more just to give it that patina that you want. This stuff will eventually dry. I don't use a lot. Um, you know, let's stay on there forever. This will give it a glow and a richness that just is really, really cool. <clears throat> So, you can see before and after, before, after, same deal. Just gives it a new richness and glow. Really gives it a little bit more of an antique look. And I should have done it before or after here too, but just tones it out. Alright, so there you have it. Distressing to finish. Combine that with my distressing wood video and uh, you can make something look really old. Uh, you could go back and shellac these again if you want but the tar dries up real nice and uh, isn't tacky like you might think. And uh, I will pan in real close and hopefully the light will let you get one last good look at the what the end product is. And uh, once again I appreciate it. Thanks for watching Big Wood Guys Wood Shop. If you liked it, subscribe. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.